From ugly brick walls in the heart of downtown are sporting a new look this summer. Artworks, which is wrapping up its 20th year of public art, produced 10 new murals. Local 12's Joe Webb has the before and after. While workers were busy putting together display shelves and cash registers in the new Oakley Kroger, Artworks was installing public art. This is the sunny place in Oakley. This painting is all about hope, love and grace as well as energy. Artist Ryan McNeely was putting the final touches on the 205 foot long mural he designed and four student apprentices painted. It's called To Oakley With Love. And now we're exposing a different audience to art who may not get that exposure in any other way. Cincinnatians are getting a lot of new exposure to public art this summer. The boring substation at Central Parkway in Charles now has six bulbs lighting those brick windows. Ezard Charles looms large at Liberty and Republic. The east wall of the old VLT Academy welcomes people to Over the Rhine with a positive, colorful message. The young James Brown brings the funk to Liberty in Maine. From grain to glass tells the story of beer at the corner of Moore and back. The scaffolding is down, the work is done. Our entire mission is to beautify Cincinnati and this is just one more step that we've taken. The bulk of the work on this year's 10 murals was done by the 150 Artworks apprentices, 14 to 21 years old. The work is never easy, but this year there were some special challenges. Usually the problem is the heat. This year it was the rain. I think the, the thing that we'll remember most is how rainy the summer was and what we accomplished in that rain. You know, wet paint and rain don't, don't um, make good friends. But now the paint is dry and brought to life. Actually, bigger than life. In Over the Rhine, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. So much talent. The Ezra Charles Muro is the 100th completed in Cincinnati. Over the years, Artworks has employed 2,700 young people and 700 artists.